Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't ask why I have one nail. I know I look like a crackhead at the moment, but when do I never? As you guys may or may not know, we are in October finally. I've only been waiting 11 months for this. And just like every video, why does it look dark? Why? Anyways, I have a Monster High haul for you guys. Um, Yes, I'm a Monster High stan. Um, hi. But yeah, guys, I bought like $20 and I just want to share them with you guys. And yeah, do I have spending problems? Yes. Do I regret it? No. But if you're interested in seeing my Monster High doll haul just in time for Miss October, October, aka Miss Halloween month. Stay tuned. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Jay and I am a, you know, doll YouTuber and stuff like that. I don't know what the f I'm doing. Anyways, you should subscribe to my channel. And if you aren't following me on Instagram or TikTok, it's at ZombieXCorn and all that stuff. So yeah, let's get into this haul, shall we? Roll the intro. <laughs> Okay, so I bought stuff from pretty much two people I know on Instagram. They really hooked me up with some good dolls and they're all dolls I don't have. Let me start with the first person. So because I'm a blonde, I forgot their username. I'm gonna put it on the screen, but put it on the screen. Their name is Rose. So thank you so much, Rose, for selling me all these lovely dolls. Can't wait to fix them up. And you guys are going to see a bunch of Monster High fixing up videos this month. So yeah. So the first doll I have is Miss... The first doll I have is Heath Burns from the Ghoul Fair line. I've always wanted Heath. Um, he's an iconic character. Um, yeah, sadly, he does have crunchy hair. This is going to be very hard to wash out. Just kidding. But pretty much he came complete. He's only missing his little marshmallows and, of course, you know, his shoes. But if you're into feet, here's your little moment. But yeah, guys, I'm so excited to finally have a Heath doll. Now I just need to get his basic and I have all the heaps. So yeah, put him right here. The next doll I got is from the same collection, Little Fair, and it's Scare Screams. Um, she's so pretty. She has pretty much her whole outfit. She's just missing whatever accessory she came with, and I don't remember what it was on the top of my head. Her hair feels really soft. There's some hard bits because of the glue in her head, and it is a bit choppy, so whoever was in the factory that day was just, you know, having a little layer moment day. Loves that for her. But yeah, she's so pretty. I think Scare's dolls are super pretty. They kind of remind me of Frankie, of course, so I'm a little biased. And she might have a twin, so you'll see. <laughs> Next, I got Miss Mercedes King. I finally got her. Oh my God, it's only been, what, six years, I think? But she's pretty much complete. She's only missing her handbag and her little, like, mouse tail. And I could probably find those online. She does have her earrings. They're just, like, really hidden in her hair. And I've always wanted this Mercedes. She's just so pretty. And now I just need Luna Mothuse to complete the Galagool's collection because I do have LED. But yeah, she's so pretty, so yay. Next, I'm adding to my Claudine collection, which is surprisingly really large, and I don't know why. This is Haunted Claudine. Her hair just a little messy and it feels like it's Kanekalon so it's just gonna it's gonna clean up really easily unless it's Saran then I don't know but just like the other she has a really hard head because this is when you know Mattel was going crazy with glue and yeah so these should be fun to clean up she again also has her full outfit she even has her little boogie sand which is a good thing and her shoes are really cute as well none of these dolls did come with stands but it's fine especially because I don't have all my monster high dolls on display so when I do do that one day when I get my own place whenever that will be I will display them all we can worry about stands then but yeah, got her, super happy about it. Now, bitch, this next doll, I am kind of gagged I have her. Um, she never popped up in Vegas that I know of. But then again, I really wasn't looking either. So next I got Miss Haunted Spectra. And I think she's what, the China variant? Because her face looks, you know. <laughs> And she's really cool too. She's complete, I believe. I'm not sure if she was supposed to have Boogie Sand. But then again, she is a ghost. Did she really need Boogie Sand? You know what I'm saying? You get my drift? But yeah, she has everything. And oh my God, I'm so happy. I love her shoes. I wasn't sure I was ever going to get her. Okay. I still want to get Rochelle from this collection. And you know, Rochelle is like expensive as f So sad. But now Spectre could go with her boyfriend, Portergeist. And they could, you know, do whatever. I don't know. Yeah, so excited to have her. Um, her hair is actually really nice. It just needs a little wash. And it's really good. Um, she has some glue in her head, but I'm not sure if it's gonna seep so yay next we have perry and pearl i've always wanted these two i don't know why it took me so long to get them but i'm so happy and they are fully complete you know having them like this now it's just like how do they look certain directions you know what i'm saying i don't know but they're really cute um i always thought they were so pretty because of how creepy and unique they were but yeah they're complete and i am super excited to clean them up and you guys will see that video probably gonna be in a few parts because there's a lot of dolls here and yeah okay guys so the next dolls i got 
they're part of a set, of course. That's why I'm saying dolls. And I'm kind of shocked I got them because these are dolls I've always wanted as well. But I got Caddy and Torlai from the Fierce Rockers collection. Now, Caddy isn't in any of her original clothing pieces. I don't even think these shoes are hers. I think they belong to like a Venus or something. But she's definitely wearing like Bratz clothes. I have a big feeling they are Bratz clothes. <laughs> she does have some chipped makeup like on her lips, which is kind of sad. But she is really pretty and her hair is not bad. She just needs her outfit and I'll find that one day for her, which is sad. But yeah, she's really pretty. And then for Torlai, she pretty much has her boots and her dress, but she's just missing like her two bracelets, her microphone, her back and front chest piece and her belt. And then she would be complete. So period. I'm super happy to have these two. I'm super happy to have all these dolls because uh, I've wanted all of them for so long. And if you guys didn't know, I'm trying to get all of the basic like G1 Monster High dolls, like complete the entire collection. And I'm like, I'm 50% there. <laughs> so like one day I'm gonna have them all. But of course, most of the ones I'm missing are like these super expensive ones. And we love that for me, right? But this was the first lot and I'm super grateful. Thank you so much, Rose, for selling me them. Again, leave their Instagram handle on the screen. But yeah, let me move these guys out of the way. And now we're gonna get to the next bundle. So the next dolls come from my friend Vinyl Coven on Instagram. I'm gonna put their username right here. They wrap them so nicely. It's like a little Christmas moment right now. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna just start unwrapping them. And yeah, so go with this burrito first. Our first school from that little bundle is Boom Class Spectra. This was a Justice exclusive doll, if I'm correct. And these dolls they're like not rare really but people like try to upcharge for them for no reason but she's so pretty her hair is like really soft her rubber band looks like it needs a new one. Oh, i just love this version's face like there's just something about this face that's just like oh uh. i love her accessories i love her little bathing suit and she does have her shoes but she's like missing her bag i think and her swim towel i think they came with bags i don't remember but i'm so happy to have another swim class doll i don't really have many swim class dolls so yay we're gonna open this one next next we have amanita nightshade and oh my god this is like my first time ever seeing her in person and wow is she pretty her hair looks thin but i knew that was always a problem with amanita so she seems to have everything she's supposed to come with i think she's just missing her little portfolio and of course like stand brush diary but she's like pretty much in stock condition and i'm just like she's so pretty though like oh my god but yeah she's gonna be really fun to recurl i think next we have 13 wishes laguna blue this is like her freshwater look so she's like bluer and her hair is like yellow and her bangs are a little questionable um they need to just be combed down and hopefully they'll look good she is a little dirty on her face but it's something i can't fix and also her hair is not in the style anymore but that's fine but yeah she's pretty much complete she's probably missing just her little bag and diary and all that stuff but yeah like really really pretty though so i'm happy to finally have this doll not many people like her but i always like this laguna Next, I got LED from their basic kind of looks. Um, what were they called? Fright Seers, maybe? I think this is what this was called. Or City Ghouls, I don't remember. But oh my god, I'm so excited. I always wanted this three pack. It was it was exclusive to Walmart, I believe. And yeah, it came with all three of the new characters in their like kind of outfits. So I'm so happy to finally have LED. And now I'm just missing Mercedes and Luna. But one of those characters is in one of these little bundles. So let's see if it's in this one. Could you imagine? I like picked the right one right away. Okay, so it was in the other doll but i got a duplicate of the scara i forgot i bought it from the other lot but i'm not mad because i could always use this scara for a custom or maybe reboot her with some better hair we'll see see i knew i was close so we got mercedes in her basic look and now i'm just missing both luna mafia dolls ironically and this one has like really nice hair it is a little sticky feeling but she's still in good condition she has all of her outfit pieces, her tails actually on this doll. And I'm super excited to actually add all these dolls to my collection. So let me just scoot her over and add her friend. And now you guys can chill. Okay, so this next doll is like so iconic. Um, I'm so surprised I'm holding her right now. It's Freak the She Claudine. Now I have her and Twyla. They're the hardest to get from this collection because like people try scalping them, of course. She's pretty much complete. She's just missing her boots and I believe she's missing her little ring and her pet. But I can find the boots probably online. And oh my God, I'm so happy to have this doll. I've always wanted to get her like a duplicate, like a nude one to make her into like a, a Shadow Ghoul Claudine, but I would have to get someone to repaint her face so one day i'll do that if i ever find her like thrifting or something like that but oh my god i'm so 
happy to have this doll like a golf legend and they really didn't have to snap like this with her like they really didn't next we have a doll in here that looks very odd because of her shaping but it is calamari she is super pretty in person not gonna lie this is like my first doll with like multiple arms she's not the last of course so you gotta keep watching for that <laughs> but i'm so happy now i could say i have all of the new characters from the great scary reef movie and they're all complete so yay this is why her baggie was so big when i was like looking and feeling through all of them i was like what in the world is this and then i remembered it i got her so now i have all three okay guys so there's more dolls to this there's like two more and i saved them for last for a reason because they're very special dolls so I got Rebecca from the SDCC 2016. Oh my god, I never thought I would have this doll. It's so weird holding her. And honestly, it's quite weird because like her head doesn't move up and down and it's super hard, but it does move this way. So it's kind of giving Rainbow High in its beginning era. And also the dress isn't like the best quality. So like obviously this is probably the cheapest Comic-Con doll I've ever like felt. But like the idea of her having like glossy skin is really cool. Her hair will need some work, but I'm so happy to have her. Now I just need her zaddy. And one day I'll find him out of the box because I'm not gonna buy them in box. So if you have Hexakaya, sell it to me, Zaddy. Now the next thing I do have to move all the dolls off the desk because it is an inbox doll. So I got Miss Webberella. I've wanted this doll for so long and I always put her off even though she was like the cheapest Comic-Con doll because I feel like they put out a lot of her. Now I finally have her and I was kind of surprised at how small her box was because like I expected bigger because like, you know, normally Comic-Cons come in like humongous boxes. So this one being quite small was a little taken back. Let me open it quickly. And even the box for this doll feels kind of like flimsier than a normal Monster High box, but it is really nice. But yeah, I'm so happy to finally have Webberella. She's going to stay in her box of course unless one day i decide to just open all my comic con dolls which you know it could happen one day you never know but i'm so happy to finally have webarella and rebecca i'm still really shocked i got these two now to complete my comic con collection i think i'm only missing her dad um cleo and gulia and scare and who dude and then i have everybody so we're almost there y'all it's gonna be an expensive journey but one day <laughs> okay guys and that is everybody i got today i am super happy and super grateful for having great people who are willing to sell me their collection. I know it's hard to do sometimes and I'm really grateful that these are going to have a good home now and I can't wait to wash them. And of course one day I can't wait to display them all. I had to wash my entire collection again when that day comes and oh my god will that be dreadful. Let me know in the comments which one of my dolls that I got today is your favorite. Are any of these on your wish list? Some of these were my grail dolls so I'm super happy. Let me know which video you would like first. I'm going to do these in probably four groups and Rebecca's going to get her own video because it's a special doll okay guys if you're new to my channel hi my name is jay and i do doll stuff duh and you should consider subscribing to the channel and if you liked today's video please give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below share it to a monster high friend and yeah if you aren't following me on instagram or tiktok it's at zombie x corn yeah yeah and guys i will see you in my next video which is actually going to be a another monster high video unless i do another video you'll see you'll see just keep you know just stay tuned to the channel okay 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 guys i'll see you in the next video bye